After more than two decades and something like $24 billion, one of the most sophisticated environmental cleanups in U.S. history is finally underway at the Hanford site in the state of Washington. Last week, the low activity waste facility began the work that will likely continue there for decades. From World War II to the end of the Cold War, Hanford produced dozens of tons of plutonium for the nation's nuclear stockpile, leaving behind some 56 million gallons of highly radioactive waste, which is stored in 177 underground tanks. But now at least three of those tanks are leaking that nuclear waste into the ground, not far from the Columbia River, while many other tanks are assumed to have leaked. Here's a photo you've not likely seen before. This is a look inside one of those underground tanks sent to us by Washington's Department of Ecology. Not necessarily a pretty sight, kind of haunting. And this is just one tank. Remember, the Hanford site has more than 170 of these. But now the low activity waste facility has begun its process to start emptying some of the radioactive waste from the underground tanks using a process called vitrification. The waste is pumped into melters and superheated to more than 2000 degrees before it's cooled, forming a solid glass, which looks like this. The glass is still radioactive, but far safer to store. The state says the glass will be permanently disposed of at a nearby facility at Hanford. Though it's worth noting, some of the lower radioactive waste will be encapsulated in a form of grout and disposed of somewhere outside of Hanford. It's not clear where the U.S. Department of Energy will put it. So what comes next? Governor Bob Ferguson's office says treating all of the tank waste will take decades, along with more facilities and infrastructure. But now that the low activity waste is being turned to glass, the vitrification of the high level waste, the most dangerous, is scheduled to begin in 2033. That radioactive glass will apparently be stored deep underground where it will stay for centuries.